Hello and welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now then, this is a bit of a test for me actually. Um, I was speaking to a customer the other day and he talked about Riga cartridge and various options, whatever. And I said to him, without really thinking it through, oh, you can probably, new Riga cartridges, you can probably fit one in less than a minute. Um, afterwards, I thought, no, that's probably, that's probably a little bit ambitious, really, particularly taking your time. But anyway, what I thought I'd do, I'm just going to try. Um, and I'm going to do a cartridge swap. I've got a customer's deck in. I'm going to just go, go at normal speed and do a cartridge swap on it. Um, and what he's got this, this down here. Um, this is a 1982 Planar 3, and it's still got the original, believe it or not, it's still got the original R100 cartridge on it, so that's Riga's first cartridge, which would have probably been uh, fitted from new, I think. It's, it will have had new styluses, but the stylus hasn't been available, no, the original stylus hasn't been available for ooh, easily, easily 20 years, or it might be more than that. It might be in the, in the sort of high 20s. Um, I mean, there's been random copies of it over the years, but uh, yeah, that is an original on it. So yeah, um, and what I've not, will you, am I cheating? Uh, I've got the, <laughs> got the cartridge out of the box because the, um, the actual fitting, this is the ND3 the ND which I'm gonna fit. Um, got the cartridge out of the box because it's a bit of a fiddle to get out of the box. And there might be a minute there, so I'm just talking about the fitting area. I'm, I'm making excuses already, aren't I? Uh, three bolts, I've put the, the blue washer onto that because this has got the big hole at the front. So you need the washer on these. The later arms have got a, a sort of bolt-sized hole rather than the, a, a hole that matches the, the other three. I'm going to knock it off. It's steady now. Um, got my Allen keys ready. So that's for doing the cartridge. That one is just in case I need to adjust. That'll, it'll all go badly wrong if I need to use that. That's to adjust the lifter if uh, the height of the cartridge is, uh, is causing any issues. But I think they're about the same. I think the R100 on the, on the ND3 should be about the same. Um, I've said this before. Uh, people go on about spacers with cartridges. This original cartridge that w that was out when Riga sort of, I suppose, um, conceived the arm really, um, is quite deep. So that's that's what it was designed with originally. A lot of the later, like the at least exact, at uh, least exact, the bias, are very shallow cartridges, and people seem to use those as reference point rather than this to argue about whether you need a spacer or not. Um, usually you don't. It's really quite rare to need a space on, on a Riga deck. But anyway, uh, and it, similar, this is very similar in height, I think, to the R100, so should be fine. But I've just I've got my Allen key there just in case. So, oh yeah, um, I'll just go through the toolkit. Complete necessities. Reading glasses. <laughs> um, fine nose pliers, um, because you don't want to pull the, the wires out with your fingers. You want to use a really good pair of fine nose, nose pliers. Allen keys, as I said, and the bolt kit. Um, so that's that's all we need. So, um, okay, I'll, I'll set the camera up. I'll set a timer up. I'm getting quite techy here. See how it goes. Okay, so let's uh, let's do it. Um, I'm guessing about three minutes, to be honest. I think that one minute is ridiculous. It's, I mean, take, fitting the new cartridge, possibly, but having to take the old one off when it's a standard fit like this as well. So we're starting. So, yes, like I say, standard fit. So this has got bolts from underneath and nuts on top, which is kind of a standard. It's much, much quicker to, to, to work with threaded bodies. There we go. I'm tightening it up. I just, oh, can't do anything under pressure at all. We're already up to 30 seconds. We're already up to 30 seconds. So yeah, I think three minutes might be closer to the possible. Oops, missed it, there you go. New cartridge. A minute, what the earth was I thinking of? It's a bit tricky with the front bolt with the the washer in it. <laughs> Tend to put the front bolt in and then just loosely and then sort out the wiring. Blue for top corner. Green. Red. Uh, 
Там, сколько мы... I've had to go quiet because I'm concentrating too hard now. Two minutes. I'm trying to do this in a single take as well. I'm not going to practice this. I'm just going to do it, do it and see what happens. Just partly out of interest, really, just to see how this, how long this really does take. So if you can't see, but there you go. Obviously, we don't need to align because um, three-point mount sort of self aligning. These are usually so quick to put in, but obviously today. Got other ideas. Right, we're in Alan Kate. You can sort of feel a centre point when you do there's a bit of movement, but you can sort of feel it centralised. Don't, don't over tighten when you've got a, a resin sort of plastic body, don't over tighten them. Just nip up. Like that, nip that up. Okay, so cover off everything to zero. Wait forward a bit. Floating dial in the weight. 1 1.75. Platter on, yes, I know there isn't a mat on this. I don't, still don't understand why it came in without a mat, but anyway. Check the drop. Yeah, that's fine, actually. It's probably a bit high, if anything. i just call that done. 348. What a fool. I'm saying I could do it in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I think probably possibly just fitting it might be a couple of minutes, I think, really. Um, obviously, I'd probably tidy up the wires a bit, because they've gone a bit wayward. So there you go. But yeah, um, pretty straightforward to fit, really. If you're aligning and all that sort of thing, you've got to probably add about another five or six, well, with me, probably five or six minutes, because I check and recheck and recheck. Um, quite often I'll recheck with an electronic uh, scale just to make sure that the, the dial on this is accurate as well, which you, usually they're really close, but I, I just, just out of habit to tend to check them anyway. So there you go. Um, is that impressive? I don't know, really. Yeah, so I hope you like that one. Um, hopefully it'll give people a bit of confidence to do it themselves, really, because it's not a difficult thing to do. Um, Three-point mounts are really easy to fit, and like I said, really quick. Not in a minute, obviously, that's stupid. But yeah, three-ish, four minutes. You know, if you've done them before, they're, they're fairly straightforward. I'd say something like a Nagoka, which is really fiddly with the bolts and everything, probably seven or eight minutes for something like that, really, I would have thought. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, hopefully it's given people confidence to have a go themselves, like I say. Um, Video-wise, I've uh, this morning I had Andrew from Mordite in, and he's brought some of the the, the finalised um, Phelion. Is it Phelion? I can't. Phenon. I've still got those. Uh, still got the Ophidian speakers in my mind. Um, Phenon, Phenon one, Phenon two uh, speaker platforms, which I'm going to get out and give a give a proper go. Some interesting sort of slight tweaks with these over the prototypes, which I'm still using down here. I mean, these things are fabulous. They work so well under, under speaker, particularly, particularly if you've got dodgy floors, but even if you're, even if you're solid, solid floors, they, they still make a big difference, but they've completely rescued my room in here. Uh, so there'll be a review, review coming up on those and a, a bit of a walk around. I know I've done about two or three different Ordi reviews now, but I'm going to do it again because of the slight tweaks to these and it just, I'll have three different sizes to show as well because they're quite radically different in size. The little ones are really cute actually, I think they're, so you could put them under a pair of like Oberon 5s or something, so they did work really well with it. Anyway, let's uh, leave it at that. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm experimenting with the Buy, buy Me A Coffee um, website, which people occasionally when they've uh, I've had people who've used the instructional videos. They said, "Oh, how can we? How can we thank you? For, can we? You know, can we send some money to you or something?" Uh, I just thought I'd put it up there as a as a feature. I don't know how to integrate it with the YouTube, YouTube side of it yet. Anyway, but I'll, what I might do is put a link on the website somewhere. I, I I'm not going to do it today, 
But um, if anybody's used Buy Me A Coffee and has got any sort of hints as to how to integrate it with YouTube, just drop me an email. I'd be quite interested, really. Um, not expecting anybody to do it. And just put it, I just thought, well, it's there. One of my friends has got a YouTube channel has done it, and he's, he said it's, it's quite nice. You get a sort of basically a little tip and you get a nice comment with it as well. So I need that, I need that sort of reinforcement in my life, really. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'll see you soon. Uh, don't forget, did I say this? Subscribe, like. See you in a future video.